Um, hello guys. Uh, today we are focusing on question six of your final examination. Okay, once again, this is math and five. If you are in the wrong class, please switch. Okay, so if you you check your question six in your old papers or your recent exam papers, you notice it's you have two questions. So you have the first question, which is uh, your first order differential equations. And the second question, which is your second order differential equations. So your second, your first order, it's the one where you have only uh, the first derivative. There, that's your first order differential equation, first ODE. The second order. It's the one where you have second derivative there. This is the second ODE there. So, so this video is mainly on first order. There's another video for second order after this one. Okay, so, so this is these are steps you should follow in solving your first order uh, uh, DEs or uh, differential equations. First step is to make sure you group all terms which contain x with your dx there second step do the same with y all terms containing y with your dy then integrate both sides then if if your question is a particular solution then you have to solve for c remember every time you integrate you add the constant plus c for example, let's say, let me make a quick, a very easy example. Let's say I have dy dx equals 2x over y. You have to uh, determine the solution of this. So if you check first step, I must group my y's with dy, my x with uh, dx. So the only way to do that is by cross multiplying. If I cross multiply, I'll have y dy. And I have x dx. So now do you see your step your, your step one and step two are solved. All your y's with dy, then your x with dx. Then your third step is to integrate both sides. So this side you integrate with respect to y. So I have y squared over 2. Your left hand your right hand side I'm integrating with respect to x, so I'll have x squared over 2. Then you must add constant plus c this is called a general solution if i have plus c is a general solution so the question that will specify calculate the general solution or the particular solution if so if they want you to calculate particular solution they will give you coordinates a point which have x and y which means if if they give me x and y and they want me to calculate a particular solution then i will substitute that x and y here if you if you check your equation you have both x and y then you substitute and solve for c then your final step is to substitute your c back so which means after getting that c you will go back to the equation substitute that value for c here that's your particular solution but but most questions on on first order differential equations are gen, uh, general solutions so if you've been practicing you'll notice that most of the questions are uh, general solutions it's only second order where they ask most uh, particular solutions but but it's best you know everything but the question will be straightforward okay let's do examples we're only doing three examples of this because it's not hectic okay first one determine the general solution of so sometimes they will just say determine the solution of this so how do you know it's general or particular if they don't give you any point to help you find c just know it's general if they say determine solution of this at that point then that's particular but here you don't have any point and they, anyway they specify that the general solution so remember okay this one i made mistake this is dx cos x dx there 
cos x d. So you have 3y squared plus 2 multiplied by cos x dx equals to 6y sin x dy. So remember, what do we need to do? All your x's must be grouped with dx. All your y's must, must be grouped with dy. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll leave dx here. I'll leave dy here. So let's group. dy must be with that 6y. So I'm leaving that 6y there. dx must be with that cos x. So how do I remove 3y squared plus 2? It's by dividing by 8 both sides. How do I remove sin x also dividing by 8 both sides? So do you notice what do we have? Sin of cos over sin it's cot x dx. Then this one there is nothing we can do to it. We leave it as it is. Then now everything is grouped, we can integrate. So now you check your formula sheet. What is the integral of cot? So I have my formula sheet with me. So make sure you have your formula sheet with you always. So the integral of cot is lean sin x. So this is lean sin x. Now this integral of 6y over 3y squared plus 2, this is a lean uh, equation because if you check if my 3y squared plus 2 is u, what is the derivative of that? It's 6y. So this is the same thing I have 1 over u times the derivative. And remember the answer, it's lean u. Do you see? So you should see these things by just looking at the question. You don't have to work uh, to do many things. On you should just look at the question and see the solution. Because you've been practicing. If you practice, believe me, you get used to such solutions. Okay, so we can see this is lean of your denominator there. Plus C. This is a solution. You don't simplify anything. You don't do anything. You leave it there. If we had a point with substitute for X and Y and solve for C. But they wanted general solution. And these questions are usually 3 marks. It's only second order which have... Uh, Minimax usually. Okay, uh, the next one. Okay, uh, here's the next question. So if we quickly analyze this question, we have dy dx multiplied by 10x equals to alpha plus y. So the first thing we have to do is get rid of that over dx. So we must multiply both sides by dx so that we can have our dy at the top and dx at the top. Then after that, okay, let me do that first step. So I can start with tan here to make everything simplified. So I'll have tan x dy. Remember what I did so far is to only get rid of the dx. So now I have to get rid with y this side because I have dx and get rid of tan x because I have dy. So I'm leaving dy. I'm leaving dx. I'm getting rid of y. The only way to get rid of y is dividing by that whole thing, which is alpha plus y. Then to get rid of tan is dividing by that whole tan. So here I already divided by alpha plus 1, which I'm left with 1, I divided by tan, I'm left with 1. So now everything looks almost there. The only thing we have to change is tan, 1 over tan, which is cot dx. This one we leave it as it is. We can see that's our lean equation, right? Remember, if I integrate 1 over, I'm sure we still remember this from our partial fractions. Remember, if you integrate this, this is lean of x plus 1. The, the, the reason we say lean, we check if this is u, what is the derivative of this? It's 1. So the same thing as here. If this is u, what is the derivative of a plus alpha? It's 1. I mean, alpha plus y, y it's 1. Because alpha is a constant, it's 0. y, it's 1. So that makes it lean alpha plus y equals to the integral of cot it's lin sine we did it on on the previous question lin sine x plus c that's your answer there
I hope it's clear. Okay, this one was just example, shouldn't bother you. Okay, last one. Okay, this question they say solve the de dy dx equals to ey plus x e exponent y plus x. The second question they say determine the equation of the curve through that point. You see, they said equation of the curve. That's another thing that shouldn't confuse you. There's equation of a curve. There's equation of a tangent. The equation of a tangent is a straight line. Of a curve, it's equation. It's the equation they're looking for, which is y. Remember the solution we are solving for is y, right? So let's not mind number one yet. Let's deal with number two. I mean, let's not mind number two. Let's deal with number one. So with number one, we can see our e is exponent y plus x, but we know according to our basic uh, exponent rules, we can expand it to be e exponent y times e exponent x, because when we multiply the same basis, we add the exponents, right? So now, how do I get the read? Let me put dx this side. You see, EX is this side, so I'm leaving it this side. EY have to go the other side. So if I divide by EY, it's the same as saying E exponent minus Y. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm avoiding to write many steps. But remember, if I'm going to divide by EY, it's the same as saying E exponent minus Y, right? So now everything is grouped. Let's integrate. We know when we integrate exponent, well, the answer will be the same exponent divide by the derivative of the exponent which is minus one this side will be ex divided by one plus c this is our answer which is minus that so if i erase this i can just write minus this was just to show you okay number two now Number two, they want the equation. So if they want the equation, it means we have to first get our C. So we have to first find our C. So we substitute, we have E exponent minus minus two equals to E exponent one plus C. So let's solve C. Put that in your calculator. So you have negative e exponent positive 2 minus e and you'll see it's negative 10 comma 1 1 so therefore your equation now will be negative e negative y equals to e x minus 10 comma 1 1 I, I hope you can see what i did here i substituted I see. That's the only thing I did. Substitute C back. Okay, this is the end of our lesson. Yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you again when we do second order differential equations. Goodbye.